hi everyone in this video i am going to design full subtractor so full subtractor is used to it is used to subtract three bits of information okay it is used to subtract three bits of information it is like your full adder half a, half subtractor is like your half adder and full subtractor like is like your full adder so full subtractor needs three inputs a b and b in a b and b in b in is nothing but borrow input and here we have difference d and borrow b these are the two output borrow we can call it as b out borrow out because here it is b in a b b in take capital representation that is better a b b in b is nothing but normal input and b in is nothing but borrow input observe the difference and it is difference d and borrow out b out okay so how to design the logic circuit for this full subtractor there are three steps one is first you need to draw the truth table and then obtain the expressions using k maps and then draw the logic circuit okay so first one is truth table truth table truth table is very very important for all the logic circuits without truth table you cannot even draw the even write the expression okay so a b b n this is input set and output side we are having difference and it is borrow b out these are outputs and these are inputs okay so as there are three inputs eight combinations are there so 0 to 0 1 100 one, 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 one. okay now 0 minus 0 minus 0 difference 0 borrow 0 0 minus 0 0 minus 1 so whenever minus 1 is there difference 1 borrow 1 0 minus 1 0 minus 1 is again difference one borrow one again it is zero and zero one one for zero one one zero minus one that is difference one borrow one again one more one is there so that's why difference is zero borrow is one for one double zero one minus zero that is one again one minus zero one so difference is one borrow is zero 1 minus 0 1 1 minus 1 0 so difference 0 borrow 0 1 minus 1 0 difference 0 borrow 0 1 minus 1 is 0 0 minus 1 difference 1 borrow 1 okay so difference 0 11 0 1001 borrow 0 311 301 okay so the expressions using k map k map for difference k map for difference <clears throat> so three variable k map a b b in 0 0 0 1 1 1 0 0 1 so difference for a difference so it is 0110101001 similar kind of expression we have got in the case of full adder for the sum 
so difference is equal to you can write it as a bar b bar b in plus a bar b b in bar plus a b bar b in bar plus a b b in take a bar common so it is b bar b in plus b b in bar plus a if you take common it is b bar b in bar plus b b in then again a bar see here b bar b in plus b b b b in bar nothing but xr operation between b and b in so it is b xr b in plus a again it is xnr operation so b xnr b in a bar see here you can write it as b xr b in plus a into it is b xr b in you can write it as bar so it is again xr operation between a and b b in so that's why it is a xr b xr b in simply for the difference and for borrow borrow b a b b in 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 0 0 1 okay and now here we have for borrow out 0 double 1 0 triple 1 triple 0 1 0 triple 1 so 0 triple 1 triple 0 1 so these two can be mapped here these two can be mapped and again these two can be mapped so b out is equal to borrow out b out b out is equal to here it is a bar and from these two we have b in a bar b in plus a bar and from these two it is b plus b b in okay if you simplify this you may get a bar b in okay this is the expression you cannot simplify this okay this expression can also be written as by seeing see from the truth table by seeing this expression a bar b bar b in just by taking directly okay uh, another way is i will write that another way okay this is from k map actually but when you are going to draw the circuit diagram the method the easiest method for the drawing of k map is for drawing logical circuit of full subtractor okay another method of writing borrow expression from the truth table is see bar out is equal to how we can write bar out is equal to whenever it is one take that a bar b bar b in plus a bar b b in bar plus a bar b b in a b b in okay take these four a bar b bar b in plus a bar b b in bar plus a bar b b in plus a b b in okay from these take a bar b common 
a bar b here a bar b if you take common then it is b in bar plus b in b in bar plus b in so b in bar plus b in is nothing but simply 1 plus and if you take b in common from the remaining two expressions a bar b bar plus a b that is equal to see it gives only a b a bar b plus b in into see here it is a xr b whole bar okay this is b out expression okay use this second equation and this first equation there is this first one this one okay this first equation can also be written like this see d is equal to a xr b xr b in just division of the simple expression into two xrs okay so the logic circuit for full subtractor is take two xr gates See why I am separating XR gates is one XR gate we are using that in the borrow expression. See A bar B. Okay, otherwise you can directly use three XR gates if you want to increase the number of gates. That is also one way. So it is A B. Here we have B in. Okay, and we have one AND gate here, one more AND gate. And the output of these two AND gates are R together to give you the final borrow expression B out. Here it gives you difference AXR, BXR, B in. Okay. And the output of this XR gate, first XR gate, is given as input for this AND gate and similarly this begin and a, one more is a bar b so a bar and b okay this is the full subtractor circuit diagram logic circuit okay thank you